Hey, it's Phil the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today we're looking at a whirlpool. Coin out dryer, old school. Man, let's see, this is gonna be a model number. CGM291TQ0. And what it does is it will not shut off when you open the door. And if we look at this little lid switch right here, we can see that doesn't seem to be much life left in this thing. Usually it should spring back out here and it's stuck in the on position so that would make it stay on when you open the door. If we look inside here we can see the lint filter is clean. That part at least. And this part is clean. I just want to check the vent here. This vent has already been cleaned out. I checked the flow on the other side of the wall and it's good. We don't have a lot of flow in this room. No vents here or anything. Got a water heater sucking air as well. We got a little gap in the floor here. That might be good enough. But I prefer a little bit more ventilation in this room. And so basically what we have to do for this, I've got, a, I've got another lid switch here for it. And we're going to Remove the top. Two screws have to be taken out of here. If there's a nut underneath this, we have to take this nut off. And then we can lift the lid up. And then get in here and change this switch. Look in here, we can see that there are two Phillips screws that hold this lid switch in place. We have to take these out. And then uh, and we can install that new one. And if you're interested, I have a how to make money in the appliance repair business course, uh, which includes a year of coaching and a link to over 1,000 videos. And so if you're interested in that, you can contact me. And I also do phone consultations for $25. If you have a question about your machine, you can contact me. I'll be glad to help you out if I can. And that phone consultation number is 707-443-8347, Pacific Time, 9 to 5. Got some coins in there. See, normally that part right there will have a nut on it. And it goes up through that, and then you can access it by taking the top lid off. But this one doesn't have a holding nut, so it makes it easy. Okay, so now we can access that switch and put the new one in. These clips here, sometimes you have to separate them a little bit to pull them apart. And uh, we'll put a new one on and get this done. Okay, so we got it out. Sometimes you have to pry these apart to get them out. So let's compare them. Take a look at this one. We got a noticeable click there. That's the new one. That's the good one. Take a look at this one. It's got slop. It don't should spring back all the way here. It's not, see. And it's like a watch inside there. If you want to try and take it apart and mess with it. You can, but it's like uh, kind of hard to get back together. I've taken these apart a couple times to try and rebuild them, but uh, usually don't have much success. These are only about five bucks or so. And uh, so normally I just replace them. Okay, here's a little disclaimer for you. This video is for informational purposes only because working on dryers may be hazardous. Okay, let's give it a quick test. Shuts off now. These here, uh, what happened is we lost the key. And we had to grind the old lock off and then put a new generic one on. See, it's got a little bit of a grinder scar there. But, uh, yeah, and then, uh, what else? Make sure the vent's not kinked.
And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.